So we're going to begin the class lying on our backs, legs stretched out along the floor. You can either rest your hands on the floor palms up or go ahead and put them on your stomach. Get yourself settled in and we'll take a few deep breaths here. Just in and out, however feels good for you. Letting yourself settle on the mat. Welcoming yourself, giving yourself permission to take this time. We have a really nice, um, gentle flow that you might use in the mornings or anytime you just need a little all body wake up. Hmm, a few more deep breaths. Maybe you can feel your stomach expand as you inhale and contract as you exhale. So soften that belly. Let the air move all the way down to the bottom of your lungs. Relax your shoulders. Relax your jaw. You might even think about your legs, your knees. Sometimes we clench our knees. So see if you need to unclench your knees and relax your legs. And then let yourself feel like the earth is holding you up. So can you relax down into the earth and get that feeling and let the earth hold you up as you take a couple more breaths. Nice and relaxed. Last breath here. And let's add some movements. We're going to add a full body stretch. So as we inhale, you can either take your hands out to the side, up overhead. Nice big inhale. Push through the palms, out through the toes. And as you exhale, you can bring the hands back down to your side. Another option as we do it again, is you can bring the hands up towards the ceiling. Full body stretch. Exhale, relax, and take the arms down. Good, let's do a couple more of those. So your choice, either out to the side or up above. Inhaling, stretch toes to fingertips, and exhale, relax, arms back down. Good, let's do one more. Inhale, reach, and exhale, relax. And just take your hands down by your side. So that's going to be our starting point. As we do this little flow, um, we'll get all six actions of the spine, extension and flexion of the spine, twisting of the spine, and side bending, as well as some warm-ups for our legs and hips. This is um, inspired by a Baxter Bell flow that he does. I've added a few things to get a few more movements. Take another breath. And here we go. So as we inhale, we're going to do a nice full body stretch. You can arch your back. And then as you exhale, we're going to take our feet and our hands over to the side for a nice side bend. Good. Inhaling back to center. Exhale, we'll go to the other side, just sliding the heels and the shoulders along. Good. Inhale back to center. As you exhale, you're going to pull your knees into your chest to give yourself a hug. On your next inhale, take your arms out to a T. Drop your knees over to the left. Your shoulders stay, shoulder blades stay on the ground. Good. Back to center. Inhale. Other side. Exhaling back to center. Good. Inhaling. Take the legs straight up to the ceiling. Push through the heels. Exhale. Take the legs out to a V. Inhaling back to center. I might have my breath wrong. We're going to cross the legs. 
Good, and then on your next breath, take them back out to the V. And then as you bring them back to center, cross them the other way. Good, and exhale here, knees to chest. We're gonna do a few circles with our knees. So knees together, you don't even have to hold on to them. But trying to keep your pelvis as still as possible, warm up those hips and let's change directions here. So what I mean by that is your, the back of your hips, your sit bones are staying on the mat. We're not rolling big like this. Good, one more circle. Good, nice inhale, exhale, pull those knees into your chest and we'll move back into an inhale, full body stretch. And as you exhale, relax and take the hands down to the side. All right, we're gonna do it again. I think you got the hang of it this time. Inhale, arms up, full body stretch. As you exhale, let's go to the left side with the heels, shoulders, the hands. So your whole body's on the floor. You just look like a banana. Inhaling back to center. Exhale, other side, nice side bend. Good, inhaling back to center. Exhale, pull the knees into your chest. Good, inhaling, arms out to a T. We're taking the knees to the right side. Exhaling back to center. Inhale, take the knees to the other side. Exhale, back to center. Inhale, we're gonna take the knees or legs straight up. All right, exhaling out to a V. Inhale back to center and cross. Exhale out to a V. Inhale back to center, cross, other way. Exhale, knees to chest. All right, three circles with the knees. Trying to keep the pelvis as still as possible. Inhaling and exhaling, nice and deep. All right, let's change directions. And you're just doing the best you can. If your hips are moving, that's okay. We're still getting a nice warm up movement in the hips and back. And one more, good. Exhaling, hug the knees to chest. You might lift your head. And then inhaling back to a full body stretch. Exhale, relax, and take the arms down. Nice. We're gonna do two more sets. So let's go. Inhale, arms above your head, full body stretch, reach through the toes. Exhale, we'll do a banana to the right side. Back to center, inhale, full body stretch. Exhale, side bend, other side. Good, inhale back to center. Exhale, pull the knees into your chest. Ready for a twist, inhaling, arms out to a T, knees to the left. Good, back to center. Other side. And back to center. Good, inhaling, knees, legs, feet straight up to the ceiling. Push through those heels. Exhale out to the V. You're pushing through the heels. Your legs are as straight as possible. Good, coming back in, cross. Good, exhale out to the V, still pushing through the heels. Inhale, bring them back. Good, exhaling, uh, knees to chest. Good, all right, some hip circles here. the other direction three times. You might feel this not only in your hips but in your core. Good, pulling the knees to chest. And on your next inhale, full body stretch. And exhale, relax the arms down. 
right, last one. Inhale, full body stretch. Exhale, side bend. Let's go to the left this time first. Inhaling back to center. Reaching, exhale, side bend, right side. Inhale, reach, exhale, pull the D's into the chest. Getting ready for your twist. Inhale, arms out to the side. Let's go to the right. Back to center. Following your breath, whichever breath you're using, if it's the inhale or the exhale on each movement, that's okay, good. Inhaling, we're gonna take our feet to sky, push through the heels, exhale out to the side. So making this really active, coming together and crossing, you're pushing through your heels, your legs are as straight as possible. You should be feeling that all over your legs coming together and across and bringing them back to chest. Good, circles with the knees. It doesn't have to be a very big movement here. You can see my knees are not making a huge circle. Good, one more on that side. And switch directions. Coming back, we're gonna exhale as we pull our knees into our chest. Go ahead and lift your head up towards your knees. We'll just take an extra breath here. You might rock side to side. One more breath. And on your next inhale, we'll take a full body stretch. And as you exhale, bring the arms down, relax. All right, let's just take a breath here or two. Just notice how you're feeling. You can feel some blood moving, some aliveness. your morning wake up stretch. Get your spine nice and flexible and your muscles ready to go. You can continue on with another yoga practice. It's just a great warm up for, I use it before golf, I use it before walking. It can be used uh, just anytime you need just a little wake up and get going. Thanks for joining me. We'll see you in the next class.